Welcome to the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. It is meant for you, as a proficient user with the HyperWorks Legacy interface, to get efficiently introduced to the new user experience of HyperMesh 2023.0. This is video 5 of 6, Introducing to Geometry Operations. Use the tool finder to search for the tools to which legacy panel functionality has been moved. Like to identify where the rule tool is located now. Use the search field to check for terms from legacy hyperworks and be pointed to their location in ribbons and tools. Like searching for toggle will bring you to the stitch tool, which is available on multiple ribbons. Editing of edges, like toggle, replace and equivalence is available in the stitch and suppress tool. The options menu allows to adjust the cleanup tolerance, called stitching distance. Use the context help and their videos to make yourself familiar with the different functionalities available through clicking, dragging, and the use of keys. Like dragging an edge onto another does replace. Clicking two overlaying red edges does toggle. Selecting multiple surfaces and confirming does equivalence. Note you can also drag and drop one fixed point onto another to replace points. And that clicking edges or points with the shift key pressed, does unstitch or release them. Creation and edit of surfaces with methods like extend, ruled or spline from legacy hypermesh, can now be found under ruled, cross extend, extend and patch slash spline. Use the context help and its videos to make yourself familiar with the different functionalities and options. Especially patch slash spline offers multiple approaches. Like most automated, you may click find in the guide bar to identify and fill closed loops of free edges. You may also drag one edge onto another to create a surface between them. Or simply select multiple lines to do so. You may see a symbol at your mouse pointer indicating that a click will switch the tangent transition from attached surfaces. Note also that by selecting surfaces, then clicking on one again, you delete the selected surfaces. Further editing options for surfaces like trim with nodes, lines, surfaces, and planes are available in the split tool. Use the context help and its videos to make yourself familiar with the different functionalities available through clicking, dragging, and the use of keys. Like Split Interactive allows cutting by dragging with the left mouse button, and also to create fixed points by left click. Then with Shift Click or Shift Window Drag, you can suppress fixed points, or untrim or unsplit surfaces. Washer Split is available in the Tool Split Lines, through the option, Offset Lines. Create and populate a custom ribbon by drag and drop to assemble your favorite tools on your own ribbons. You may dock off such ribbons to have them permanently in front view. Alternatively, consider using extensions. Or the tool belt which can be called with Alt and right click. This concludes the fifth of the six videos of the HyperMesh 2023 Quick Start for HyperWorks Legacy Professionals video series. The next video is about mesh operations. Thanks for watching.